I was always keen on the idea of narrative. My books always have a narrative. That is to say, cause and effect. That's what I like. Um, but Stanley was less interested in that. And he said to me, no, forget about the narrative. He said, what you need to make a movie is six non-submersible units. That was the phrase he used, non-submersible units. And he said, when we've got those, we're away. And I did actually produce one that he loved and was really enthusiastic about. It was the one time in our working relationship when he was enthusiastic. Uh, and he said to me, Brian, I have the impression that you have two styles of writing. One is brilliant and the other's not so good. <laughs> but when you think about this philosophy of the non-submersible unit, you can see it in action. Most effectively, I think, in The Shining. Okay, you have an episode, and then it's linked to another by a blackboard that will just say Thursday, 4 p.m. You know something bad is going to happen on Thursday at 4 p.m. It heightens the suspense. And so in that respect, it's a very good device. But when you examine 2001, you can see the non-submersible units, and they don't actually quite link up. For instance, the last mysterious episode is almost complete in itself. And then there's the episode on the ship with Hal. Um, these are the units. And it's because they don't link up that we find 2001 so interesting. There's something that our intellects can't quite resolve. And that's an attraction in a movie.